movement within the church, so be sure all the aisles are clear, okay? Children, if you go sit by your parents, please do so. Okay. But let's keep the aisles clear. I would like to introduce the play, Like a Thief in the Night. No gray, jingle bells are ringing, carolers are singing, children with their lists, parents struggling to buy gifts, fear of dissatisfaction, it's all a big distraction. They say it's a season of giving, but have we forgot why we live it? Gotten blinded by deception? Think the enemy got us tripping? Yeah, I'm talking to us Christians. We say we set apart, so let me flow from the heart. Looking for a perfect gift, eternal life with Christ priceless. Little baby boy came to save the world, born by humble means to a virgin girl. Little manger where he lay, celebration of his birth, Christmas day. Pretty trees and fancy lights deter us from the one who gives us life. Wonderful counselor, born to die, set sent here by his father to pay the ultimate price. Redeemer of us all, the naughty and the nice. By his grace we have access, through his mercy washed and cleaned, paid the cost for our sins, so why does Saint Nick get the glory? Christ is born, the real Christmas story. We've fallen victim to the devil's trickery, every lie and every ploy. Lost the reason for the season, searching for the perfect toy. Dashing through the snow on our fancy sleighs. Over the hill we go, but we're going the wrong way. Bigger issue is the compromise. Didn't start with buying gifts. Didn't start with Rudolph or Fat St. Old Nick. Didn't even start with Frosty. Didn't end with decking the halls. Somewhere down the line, Christians have dropped the ball. Save too similar to secular. Save too similar to secular. Sinful nature has blurred the lines. Compromising to fit in, we are skating on the fence. Trying to do just enough to make it in. But serving two masters isn't even an option. Serving two masters isn't even an option. We have to choose one path, serve one master. There are no second chances. There's only one rapture. I said there's only one rapture. Either burn or dwell with the king. It's really up to you. Warning, make a choice because he's returning soon. Though no man knows the hour and no man knows the day, I do know you got to be black or white because there are no shades of gray.
Yeah, I wrote this song. And I pray that you listen to all the words. Because I feel like at some point in everybody's life, you feel like this. Lord, I'm split in two. Part of me loves the world and the other loves you. So what do I do? I want to be saved, but I got to stay cool too. And no, I'm not a fool. I know eventually I'm going to have to choose. And really, I don't want to lose my ticket into heaven and a chance to be used by you. And if it's God that I'm after, I just can't serve two masters. And before something happens, I got to turn it all around because I know I can't just have my cake and eat. It's real easy to stay on the fence and still do you And it'd be cool if we could love the Lord and still go do our thing But see it doesn't work like that You gotta be white or black See I've realized when it comes to sin you just don't compromise See, it's a matter of death and life Be weak and do wrong or be strong and do right and I don't want to keep going to church Singing all about how much you're worth And then continue doing my dirt Living as if I didn't care if you're hurt Cause if it's God that I'm after I just can't serve to master And before something happens Gotta turn it all around because I know I can't just have my cake and eat it too. Cause it's real easy to stay on the fence and still do you. And it'd be cool if we could love the Lord and still go do our thing. But see, it doesn't work like that. You gotta be white or black. Something happens I gotta turn it all around Because I know I can't just have my cake And eat it too Yeah Cause it's really easy to stay on my face And still do you And it'd be cool if we could love the Lord And still go do our thing But see it don't work like that You gotta be white or black No, it don't work like that you gotta be white or black, yeah. No gray, no shades of gray. No, 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 that question you know every Christmas Eve we go out on the road so that you guys can buy your toys but mommy you're pregnant are you sure you can go on the road with that big old stomach it looks so heavy to be carrying around all the time Leanne your dad will be there with us so I'm quite sure he can help me carry it so stop worrying as if he can mom you still ain't answering my question and which question is that the party at Randy's tonight. Can I go? Right, right, right. Let me think about this. No. But, Mom, <laughs> this is very important to me. All right, fine. Who's going to be there? Just some friends from the other side of town. Diego, 
every Christmas we spend it together as a family. Why in the world should this year be any different? I'm a teenager, Mom, and I'm a little too old for water guns and toy soldiers. And you know we teenagers like to hang out together. You Fine, just ask your father. My father is in Miami. Your other father. Now, if your real daddy had stepped up, I would have married him instead. <laughs> Whatever, Ma. Why are you two always arguing? It's not healthy for the baby. Leanne, honey, we're not arguing. We're just having a conversation. It sounds like we're arguing. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay, baby. <coughs> and where do you think you're going? I'm going out. Oh, not today. You're, you're not doing this to us again. Look, all right, I'll be back to take y'all on the road later, okay? Every year we spend Christmas Eve together as a family. I mean, you got us over here wrapping presents and decorating the streets and you can do what? Go hang out with your friends to smoke and drink? But we're not going to talk about this in front of the kids. Well, we wouldn't have to if you think before you act. You know, see, that's your problem. I never do anything good enough for you. You're too miserable. That is not true. Kids, tell him that's not <laughs> Right. See, kids don't lie. You're just way too miserable. You know what? Fine. Do whatever you want then. You know what? Fine. I won't go. Happy. Thank you. And in return, I'll, I'll try and be a little less miserable. Amen. Tis the season to be jolly, right? Right. Now, just be a darling and go over here and put that under the tree for me, okay? So, Johnny, can I go to a party tonight? I thought we were going on the road tonight. Well, I'm a little too old for Grand Market. All right, then why are we going? Because I am going, and you guys don't let me go. Look, I, I think we should all go together. Can I go to the party after? Uh, yeah, that, that, that shouldn't be a problem. Yes. Are you serious? What's the problem? Do you have any idea what these kids do at parties? I'm a teenager, Mom, not a kid. It's the same difference. <laughs> Look, if we're not going to let them go at 14, then when are we? <laughs> um, 21 sounds real good to me. <laughs> Let's let them go to the party. Let them enjoy themselves. Have a good time. And if he does anything wrong, then we can grind him in the dust. Sounds fair enough. All right. No smoking. None. No drinking. Nope. And you better be home by midnight. That's right. One. 12.30. 12.45. You negotiated? Uh, okay. But no girls. Just one girl. That's your son. Uh, all right. You can hold hands and do some hugging, but definitely no, no married, married people, people stuff. Not one bit of married people stuff. Got it. And <laughs> I still don't like the fact that you're going, but I am letting you go with the hopes that you break just one single rule so that we never have to go through this again. Okay, Ma. And, and whatever you do, just please don't tell your grandmother. Don't tell your grandma what? Oh. <laughs> Ma. Hi, Grandma. Did, um, did your husband drop you off? No, nah, Peter was late as usual, so I got somebody else to come and pick me up. You, you know, y'all know I don't like to wait. When I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm really happy to see you, Mom. How long has it been? Yeah. It's been four weeks. <laughs> really? Because it, it feels a lot longer than that. Yeah, well, I would see you and my grandchildren more often if you hadn't stopped bringing your little self to church. Are, are, are we really about to do that now? Well, now is a good time. 
It's the only moment we have right now. Mom, we're <laughs> we're in the middle of preparing for the big day tomorrow. Yeah, you always are, sugar. Preparing for the things that you don't have. Just using the blessings that you have to prepare for the things that you don't have. And what guarantee do you have that you're going to even see tomorrow? Your priority should be trying to get your family right with the Lord Jesus. You know, you know what? I, 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 I really don't need to be hearing this right now, Mom. So please don't make me regret the decision to have you come spend Christmas with us. Exactly. Excuse me, young lady? Now, look, I found my way here, and I certainly can't find my way back. Now, I don't care if I hurt your feelings with the truth, Diana. I'm going to say what I have to say, and then if you want me to leave, so be it. Oh, my goodness. You know Wait what? Wait a minute. Sit down. <laughs> now, we had family church. We had family day last week at church, and I asked you to bring these babies, and you didn't show up. You didn't even come. And then you had the audacity to hang up on your own mother. What has gotten oh my into you? God, and I apologize for that. Well, like I said, I'm going to say what I have to say, and then if you want me to leave, I'll be more than happy to leave. You know what? Fine. Say whatever you want to say, but I don't have to listen to you. Don't you thing. walk away from me, young lady. You, you talk to her. Just disrespectful. Uh, I'm sorry. You, you know your daughter, she hormonal right now. The baby is, the issues. That's what I go through. Yeah, well, you might be right, but I'm going to say this one thing to you, Johnny, and I'm done. Mm -hmm. You're the priest of this household, and it's really your responsibility to make sure that this family is right with the Lord. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> I'm not into that, you know, churchy thing. Yeah, and why not? Too many contradictions. You know, not enough answers. Too many Too questions. Too many excuses. That's what it is. What contradictions? <laughs> I see what you try to do. Check it out. Let's, come up with some let's get through Christmas, okay? Right. Let's get through Christmas, and then afterwards, if you want to, we can sit down and discuss the Lord as long, long as you want to. But for now, for the baby's sake, let's just let's just get through the holiday. Well, I guess I can work with that. All right. But I want you to make one promise to me. Mm. I want everybody to come with me to church tomorrow. Mm. Now, the pastor's prepared a good message out here, mm. and I believe that the Holy Spirit is going to fall on y'all, and y'all going to really get saved on Christmas. Yes. Well, now, I will look, make sure that they are there. I want you all to be in church. Mm, they will be in church. Okay. They will. I want to go. I love church, and I love Jesus. I think we'll have a great time. See, you don't know that. Yes, I do. He lives in my heart because I asked him to. Well, now that's Grandma's baby right there. <laughs> the Lord. Now look, I'm tired of talking about all of this. I'm hungry. I came over to visit y'all, and I don't smell no food cooking up in here. Well, well, I mean, I can go get you some tea. You know, I just some need... tea. Yeah. I said I'm hungry. I'm not thirsty. Well, well what would you like? Get my bag, baby. I mean, what, what, what would you like? Well, y'all got a sandwich for starters. Well, I, I can get you maybe a turkey sandwich or some, something. Some some hog mugs would be even better. Now, you know you can't be having hog mugs. Well, you know, no, the doctor no, doesn't say my it. pressure's been good and my sugar's doing just fine. We don't think that where we come So, how was the last party you'll ever attend in your life? I can explain. Oh, <laughs> no need to. Let me guess. What, the car broke down? Yes, it did. What, what then? What, the stars fell from the sky? One landed in front of the car. Really? <laughs> now, what? Did, what, the moon poured down in blood? I was sitting there watching it. Oh, right, right. And then 
in their road was all flooded. There was a buildup on the freeway due to a traffic accident. I have heard them all. You have? You know what? Don't get smart with me. I'm not getting smart. It's just that some of these things actually did happen. Just go to your room. But, Mom. Boy, give me your phone, your tablet, and your keys. You're grounded for a month. A whole month? Mom. I will add a day for every single word you have to say. Now, hand it over. Come in this house at 7 o'clock in the morning like you crazy. Morning, sweetheart. How are you doing? Look at you. I told him he was gonna be okay. You sat up here all night long. Mm. That bed felt comfortable. <laughs> I did not fall asleep. I, I mean, I, I kind of fell asleep, I guess. Right, but you were sitting up all night. Baby, is you rested? <laughs> Whatever. You know what? I'm surprised my mom didn't come down here and pour a cold bucket of ice water on me and you to make us go to that boring church service with her. <laughs> yeah, you know, that is something, but I just wished that if she was going to take Lee with her, that, you know, she would have told somebody. She, she took Lee? Yeah, I went by her room and she wasn't there. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty positive. I walked by her room and nothing. Doesn't that seem a bit strange to you? Yeah, it does. Uh, my mom never leaves the house without her Bible. Well, you know, your mama's super saved, so she got like 13 of them or something. <laughs> yeah, she, she does have several, but still, it's strange because this will actually be the first time that Leanne has left the house without giving me a hug or a kiss, even if I was sleeping. Well, sweetheart, you know, you know Lee's growing older now, and she's going to be going to parties and coming in at 6 o'clock and showing you pictures of her new bae on Instagram and getting grounded. Oh, please don't say that. Look, all right. Maybe she came and hugged you and kissed you, but, you know, you, you, you were too sleeping to notice. I don't know. Um... My teacher instincts tells me that there is something very grammatically wrong with that sentence. Your teacher instincts? Uh-huh, yes. Uh, so, <clears throat> what else are your teacher instincts telling you? Well, they tell me that my husband wishes to hug his pregnant wife. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas, my one and only. Well, don't just tell me, husband of mine, show me. <laughs> from my mother. I don't know where my daughter is.
I gotta go. Seriously? Look, you get to go see your mother on Christmas. Why can't I go see mine? You're, you're going to see Miss Joyce now? Yeah, I was gonna take Lee with me, but she with your mama. Yeah, well, it is almost nine o'clock and they have not returned home yet. Look, I I'll go by the church. You know, you know how they do over there. I'll go and pick them both up, okay? Okay, that's that's a good idea. You know, give my mom's feet a rest. She's gonna need all the rest she got with that husband she has at home. Really? You gonna talk about Peter that way? That's the only father you know. Um, I do have my concerns. The man is missing a few screws, if you know what I mean. <laughs> that's wrong. <laughs> but whatever, you know. You you can go, but I I'll find somebody else to talk to if you don't feel like hearing what I have to say. That's good. That's great. All right, Madam Miserable. Adieu. Hey, have you seen my cell phone? As usual, no. Bye. Where is my cell phone? Where is my child? Where is my mother? What is going on in this house? Diego! Ma! I called you, boy. I answered, Ma! Get in here. been playing with my cell phone again? Nope. Then where is it? I don't have no idea. Then why do you look like you're hiding something? Mom, I'm grounded. I shouldn't be answering all these questions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one that grounded you, boy, so don't get smart with me. Now tell me where my cell phone is. If I tell you, will you drop a few weeks off my sentence? <laughs> if you don't tell me, I'm going to add on a few more with hard labor. You know, Mom, you regular people usually wait till the battery is near dead or dead to charge their phone. You know, son, I don't remember asking you for history lessons in cell phone maintenance. Now, what I need you to do is go to that laundry room and get me my cell phone. Now, is that too much to ask? I mean, after all I did. Carry me for eight and a half months and go through eight very painful hours of labor to get me into this world. I get it. <laughs> oh, Lord, help me. <laughs> the son you gave me. Oh, my goodness. You have 58 missed calls. What? Auntie Juliet alone called you 18 times. Hmm. Wow. Um, I guess this makes 19. Hello? Hi, sister of mine. Uh, what? Have I seen Raven? What do, you, what do you mean she just disappeared? Well, maybe she left with your husband or something. I don't know. Um, no, we have not watched the news. You know I don't watch that stuff. What? I'm, I, oh, okay, I, I, hey, ho, I, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. I have another call coming in, okay? Hello? Um, hey, Papa, how did you get my number? <coughs> no, um, they went to church this morning and they have not returned home yet. No, she is not with another man. <laughs> what? You, you are 76 years old. You really need to stop this foolishness. What? You crazy man hung up on me. What is going on? Baby, we, 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 there's a problem. I went out to the car, went driving. Picked, you know, a whole bunch of cars in the way. So I'm thinking, traffic jam, cool. You know, so I go beeping. But um, ain't nobody else beeping. So I look out at, at the cars, and there ain't nobody in the cars, OK? Keys and ignition, nobody in the cars. Baby, ain't nobody there, nobody. Well, 
That does sound a little strange, but I'm quite sure there's an explanation for that. No. Okay. Cool. 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 Okay. Explain this. All right. I went to the church. Doors open. Open door. Doors open. Ain't nobody in there. Cars all over. We ain't got no river, no baptisms, okay? So cars open, <laughs> doors everywhere, but nobody's there. Nobody. Nobody's there. Sweetie, are you playing with me now? <laughs> Does it look like I'm playing? Then where is Leanne? Where is my baby? I don't know. No, we, we need to call the police. I tried that. The phones are jammed. I, I can try to call my mama, but I can't get her either. No, uh, Diego! Ma! Boy, get in here! You have five minutes to get your butt in here. Where are we going? We're going to a police station. Come on. Hurry up. Baby, come on. What's going on? on? My daughter is missing. My mother is missing. People disappearing. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Boy, if you don't hurry up. Oh, my God. that can't go home. We're yeah. tired, but we're doing our jobs. Well, the world has changed overnight. What are you, what are you talking about? Ten million people have been reported missing in less than four hours, and some, like myself, have family members who aren't answering their phone. Ten million people? Do you understand what I'm saying? With, with all due respect, sir, people just don't disappear. Yesterday, I would have backed you up 100%. But there were 30 officers assigned to this precinct last night, and today I can only account for 15. <laughs> so there's got to be some type of explanation. That are. People have disappeared. And as of right now, that's all we know. Can you please excuse me? As you see, we have our hands. Sir, are, are you serious? You're just going to leave? Come on, man. you got to protect him, sir. Yes, you got to protect him, sir.
saying some crazy stuff. Must be the new reality TV show. Wait a minute. Where's my wife? Is she still in the car? Where's the car? Papa, we, we had to walk here. The roads are all flooded and yeah. what you're seeing on TV is not a reality TV show, it's really happening. Where's my wife? Uh, we, Pop, we, we. Uh, she ran off with some crazy man, didn't she? <laughs> I knew it. After 35 years of marriage, this is what I get. Pop, relax, okay? Calm down before you lose the other half of your mind that you got <laughs> left. Yeah. You always pretending like you don't know what's going on. I just don't know if I can live like this anymore. You know what? Maybe it was a bad idea coming over Maybe here. No. Oh, ho, 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 ho. No, no. It's Christmas Day, and I just don't feel like being alone. Uh, Papa, that's the problem. You're never alone. You stay cooped up in this house, and you want my mom to stay in here with you, but she's just not like that. I just want her to come home, that's all. And when she's here, you tell her to leave. Well, I always say stuff I don't mean. <laughs> I, I, ju I just get a little emotional at times and say stuff I really don't mean. She knows that. Fine. I mean, it's not like you're going to own up to anything you say anyway. Are you going to tell me where your mama is or what? <laughs> oh, look, look, Pop, I'm, I'm telling you. I mean, it's, it's almost like she vanished in the thin air. Vanish? In the thin air? Yeah. You sound just like those idiots on those TV. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's not a reality TV show, Papa. Yeah. Diego. Yes, sir. You wouldn't lie to your grandpapa by law, would you? No, sir. Where's your grandma? Don't know where she or my little sister is, sir. What's going on? That's what we're trying to figure out, Papa. So this is for real? Yes, Papa. Millions of people just vanish? Yeah, Pop. Man, it doesn't even feel like Christmas Day to me right now. <laughs> Christmas. Well, you know what? It ain't sound real. I, it just don't sound real. I. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> you know, <laughs> bet you're thinking about aliens, huh? Uh huh. That's All that sci fi it, stuff it, he be watching. <laughs> and woogly woogly. Yeah, let the force be with you. Mm -hmm. Well, 
Well, we we well we have alien star. We we, we top Santa Claus. Yeah, we do. Jesus was born on this day. Why not aliens? I, I wasn't. Being, I wasn't serious. I wasn't serious. Well, think about it. Well, you don't see what's happening. Think about it. If it might be a theory, but. I, I don't know. It may be more answers than questions. <coughs> you have an innocent child growing inside you, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Why would that child be left behind? <coughs> I'm a Christian. Why would I be left behind? You're a Christian sometimes. <laughs> you call Papa. You know Why what? would you be left behind? <laughs> I, I really don't need a guilt trip right now, so can we get our head out of the Bible, please? Don't you see what's happening? All of us sometime will never have to meet God face to face. How else can you explain what's happening without him? Ain't that that whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Grandson, keep your head on the table. What was that? I believe it was an earthquake. I smell fire. Me too. If I were you, I would say yes. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Speak to me. Speak to me. Speak, Lord. Oh, speak, Lord. Speak to me. Speak to me. Speak, Lord. I was so blind. Speak to me. I was so lost. Speak, Lord. Until you spoke to me.
Yeah, me too, son. Don't talk to strangers, I tell you. Well, at least you were listening to me this time. Uh, you, you, you know what, lady? Um, with everything we just went through and all this, you know, all these earthquakes and uh, everything, and this only being the building left, uh, you, you, you know, I, I, I listen to whatever you got to say. My point. The Bible says that every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. All roads lead to him, and it doesn't matter which road you take. At some point in your life, you're going to have to face this man, either as your savior or as your judge. It's your choice. Are you saying we're here because we made the wrong choice? Or we made a partial choice. Or we just waited too long. Or we just wanted a sign from God. Anyone who falls into any one of these categories now has seven years of hell on earth to endure. <laughs> Lady... How can I believe anything that you're saying? Hmm. I have an innocent life growing inside of me. Why would Jesus leave an innocent child behind? Explain that. I used to think about that too. And unfortunately, it's a question that I don't have an answer for. No. Oh, 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 you ain't got answers now, huh? You got an you, oh, you believe this, believe that. Oh, now you ain't got no answers. Right. I knew the truth. I just wanted a reason to believe it. Hmm. You know what? Hmm. I, I, I can't accept any of this. Well, do you have a better explanation of what's taking place here? I'm better than yours. No, yeah, not yeah. yet, but I'm quite sure there is one. Exactly. And yeah. still you continue to harden your heart because you're too stubborn oh. or too afraid oh. to face the truth. Oh. 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 Lady, oh. Oh. You, you do not know me. So right now you have absolutely no right to talk to me like I'm a child. I'm just trying to get you to understand. I didn't ask you anything. Nothing. Get her. Fine. Get her. But keep your eyes and ears open because there are still other prophecies to be fulfilled. Maybe once you see the Bible come into life before your very eyes, you'll choose to believe. What other prophecies are you talking about? The rise of the Antichrist. The devil incarnate. He will usher in a new era for everyone left behind. He will claim to be God, but bring nothing but terror unimaginable. Ooh. 
Man, that sounds like a horrible Hollywood movie screw. Any Christ. Well, the first thing he'll do is sign a peace treaty with Israel. Peace. Peace in the Middle East, right? You crazy. <laughs> she lost it. Yeah. Israel been in war for years. They're not about to sign no peace treaty. Exactly. Laugh all you want. It's just a matter of time. <laughs> <sighs> You've been taking your meds, Pop. That's yeah. a problem. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Leaving yeah, all that. The cop we talked to earlier. Okay. I know. Hey. Where, where's my wife? He know where my wife is? No, it's amazing how this whole building is about dirt. Yeah. Well, well, well. You didn't go too far. <laughs> this used to be my place of refuge. Now it's the home for the homeless. I'm not homeless. Mm -hmm. That was some earthquake. That was almost destroyed flat. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there should be famines and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. <laughs> you cool Bible Hey, you keep it safe. Maybe God will come back to you. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. I am so glad I'm not the only one that thinks that you're a nutcase. <laughs> Further on, the Bible says, Woe unto them that are with child, and to them that Watch give suck what? in those days. Oh, 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 girl, 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 girl. You, you, you don't know how close you were to a beatdown. She don't know you. Come on, relax. Uh, officer. Have you heard anything further about the disappearances? Yes, I'm still looking for my daughter. My family. I need my I'm afraid not. It's still a mystery. What? what? There is one man who offers some hope. Oh. Oh. From what I heard, he practically came out of nowhere. And if anybody's going to put the city back together, it's going to be him. I saw who who I was this man? I don't know. Yes. All right. I don't fine. know, but Whew. he just made an announcement on national television saying he'll be flying to Israel to sign a peace treaty. Oh, what? Yeah. something in here that, yeah, you know, we can change something, right? You know, it, it can't be... It no, can't. no, no. There's nothing more we can do. All of these are the beginning of sorrows. There's nothing more. We're, we're stuck here? What? We're stuck. My wife is Can you imagine? Can you imagine just standing before the king?
want you to stand to your feet right now and just stay in the moment just stand to your feet and stay in the moment at this time and you have witnessed and you know and I know that it will be <clears throat> much more difficult than you see here there will be much more pain there will be much more casualties there'll be a lot that's going on that you didn't see here but you can imagine how it might be if you're left behind and what I want you to think about at this time in this moment is are you ready have you made a commitment 
Are you sure where you will spend eternity? Don't look at me. Don't, don't, don't. This is your time to really go inside yourself. Go inside your mind. So just close your eyes and, and just think if if Jesus came right now and if the people beside you disappeared, would you be the one that was caught up? Or would you be the one that was left behind? See, that question we all have to ask of ourselves. Because one thing that I'm assured of is that Jesus is real. One thing that I know is that the Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. One thing that I am assured of is that there are many people that go to church but there aren't many people that live the life. So I don't want to embarrass anybody at this time. This is not our reason to embarrass anybody. But if you're unsure, you just meet me at the altar because I'm here already. And if you just meet me here, we're going to go through the sinner's prayer and we're going to make sure going to make sure that that you can be caught up if you're sincere in your heart on today and you want to make a change in your life and you believe that Jesus Christ is real and he died on the cross for you then I need you here with me see we all have some some thoughts and some concerns Am I praying enough? Am I fasting enough? Am I reading enough of my word? Am I a true example of the living word? The Bible says that our works are as filthy rags. So I'm going to say exactly, you're not praying enough. You're not fasting enough. You're not seeking enough. So this altar should be full. It shouldn't be empty. And if you're unsaved and you're on the fence, the Bible says that either you're going to be hot or cold. See that there's no medium between I go to church but a club there's no in between either you're hot or cold and the one thing that I realized that even if you go to church you're going to have some faults and everybody thinks that as soon as I get saved then, then God is going to clean me of everything that I've been doing and I'm going to tell you that's just not true I, I just probably ain't going to happen see you got to be washed up and you got to you got to give of yourself and of your time and little by little he's going to mold you and little by little he's going to shape you into what he would like for you to be. So I'm asking you to come down right now and we're going to pray together. We're going to pray together and we're going to pray the prayer of repentance. We're going to pray the prayer of deliverance. We're going to pray the prayer in the name of Jesus. And I thank you for being obedient right now to the Holy Spirit that's pricking your heart. I thank you for being obedient right now to the Holy Spirit that is pricking your heart. That's telling you you need to be down here. See, I'm first partaker. I'm already here. I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. This is the time. The play is over. You saw the, the different things that go on in people's lives. This ain't time to play church, y'all. 
This ain't time not to have an understanding of what's going on. This ain't the time to be cute. This ain't the time to be all puffed up and all muscle bound like I'm the man of the house. And this ain't that time. This is the time of surrender. This is the time to surrender to the King of Kings, to the Lord of Lords, to the Alpha and Omega. This is the time to surrender to the one that created you, the one that gave you breath that you're breathing right now. This is the time. Hallelujah. This is the time. Move now. Move now. Don't let it be too late for you. See, a thief in the night means that no man knows the time. No man knows the hour. No man knows the day when your time will come. You might walk out of here and become a statistic. Involved in an accident. You might get home and something may happen. But I'm giving you this time. I'm giving you this time. Just say, excuse me. Hey, 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 I need to get to the altar. Say, excuse me, I need to get to the altar. It's my time. This is my time. This is my time. This is my time. This is time for me. This is nobody else's time. This is not time for you to be ashamed. This is not time for you. For you to say, oh my God, who is this guy up here talking? It's time for you to move. It's time for you to move. It's time for you to move. See, I'm still waiting on you. See, that's what happens. Jesus is calling you. He's calling you on Monday. He's calling you on Tuesday. He's calling you on Wednesday. He's calling you on Thursday. He's calling you on Friday. But you're scared to move. And all I'm asking you to do is move. Move in obedience. Move in obedience. Move in obedience to the King of Kings. Move to obedience to the Lord of Lords. Move in obedience. No time to keep your head up and stand, stand at your feet and let yourself hold yourself there. You move. This is your life. This is your life. This is your life. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here and I'm going to pray with you. I'm going to pray with you. I'm going to pray for myself. I'm going to pray for my family. I'm going to pray for my children. I'm going to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray. But I need you to meet me here. In obedience. Come on in. So let the other people in. Come up some. Move up. Move up. Move up. Move up. Come on. There's people out there. They want to come. I feel you. I feel you. You're moving right now. moving right now the Bible says the Lord knows your heart he knows your heart he knows what you want to do with your life he says his thoughts for you are good and not of evil he knows you he knows every hair of hair on your head he said he knew you before the foundation of the earth so he knows whether you're standing there and you should be up here he already knows that we're not guessing because he knows he says he knows everything hallelujah hallelujah if you're up here you just say hallelujah say hallelujah say hallelujah say hallelujah come on i need to hear you hallelujah 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 Hallelujah, don't get left behind out there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah is the highest praise. Hallelujah. 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 Just say hallelujah. hallelujah.
Just say hallelujah. Just say hallelujah. 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 Listen, listen, repeat after me. Say, Lord, forgive me of my sins. Lord, I confess that I'm a sinner. Lord, forgive me of my sins. Cleanse me of all unrighteousness. Forgive me for the lust of the flesh. Forgive me for the lust of the eyes. Forgive me for the pride of life. Say, Lord, I believe. I believe that you rose, you rose from the grave. I believe that you have all power. I believe that you're the king of kings. I believe that you're the Lord of lords. I believe that you're Alpha and Omega. I believe, Lord, come into my heart. Fill me with your precious blood. Lord, touch my heart. Touch my mind. Right now. If you believe that, grab the person's hand next to you. Grab the hand next to you. And say, so I have confessed with my mouth. And I believe in my heart. In the Lord Jesus. And I confess that I will do the best that I can possibly do. Say, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Now pray for that person that had you hold. You pray for him. You don't know their name. Just pray for him. Just pray for him. If it's a young lady, say, Lord, bless this young lady. If it's a young man, say, bless this young man. You bless him, Lord. Lord, you hear the cries of your people. Father, you hear the cries of your people. Hear our prayers. Hear our cries. Thank you, Lord.